Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free English ebook before it's gone. In this video, you'll learn 10 of the most common words and phrases in English. Hi, everybody, my name is Alicia. Welcome to the 2000 Core English Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 2000 most common words and phrases in English. Each lesson will help you practice and review what you've learned. We'll also include the previous lessons at the end, because reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at EnglishClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard decks, and finally master English. Okay, let's get started. First is... Infection. 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 An infection is not a good thing to have. So an infection refers to a wound on the body usually that has bacteria or something else bad in it that creates sometimes a very painful experience or it can create something that's very, very unpleasant. So when we have an infection, we need to get medicine to take care of the infection. For example, skin infection, skin infection. Skin infection. Next is flu. 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 The flu refers to a very, very common type of sickness. Flu is short for influenza, a type of sickness. So the flu refers to just a general feeling of not being in very good health for most of us. We can have a fever, maybe we have a runny nose, maybe our stomach hurts, or we have some combination of these feelings. So when we say we have the flu, it generally means we have this very common type of illness that affects the body, usually for a short period of time. This happens a lot in winter. Here's an example expression. Flu season. Flu season. Flu season. Okay, the next word is trumpet. 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 A trumpet is a musical instrument. This is a brass instrument that can be held in the hands. It has three keys at the top, and the person playing the instrument can control the pitch of the sound with their lip motions and with the speed of the breath that they're using through the instrument and so on. So, for example, brass trumpet. Brass trumpet. Brass trumpet. Next is departure gate. Departure gate. Departure gate. The departure gate is a very important thing to know when you are traveling by air. The departure gate is the place in the airport that your flight is going to leave from. So it usually is on your boarding pass, the departure gate number, and you need to go to that specific gate, that specific location, in order to get on your flight. So here's an example. Departure gate 43. Departure gate 43. Departure gate 43. Next is sociology. 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 Sociology is the study of humans and the study of human behavior. So when we study sociology, we look at the different ways that humans have relationships, the ways that humans have interacted over time, the ways that we maybe communicate through our body language or through our words. There are many, many different factors to sociology, but they all relate to societies and people. Here's an example expression. Study of sociology. Study of sociology. Study of sociology. Okay, the next word is flight attendant. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. A flight attendant is a person who works on an airline and they're the people that help you when you need something to eat or something to drink or when you have a question while you're on the flight. If you need a blanket or if you need some help with maybe headphones, for example, you talk to a flight attendant. Flight attendant can refer to either a man or a woman. For example, 
female flight attendant. Female flight attendant. Female flight attendant. The next word is seat. 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 So a seat is a place to sit. So you might have many seats in your house. Any place that you can sit down can be called a seat. Generally, however, when we make a reservation for something, for example, at a concert or maybe on an airplane, we have one specific seat that is for us only. So, for example, airplane seat. Airplane seat. Airplane seat. Okay, the next word is medicine. 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 So the word medicine has a couple of different uses. It can refer to the study of human health and how to recover from injuries and illness. And the word medicine can also be used to talk about something that we take or that we put on our bodies to help us to recover from an injury. So doctors and nurses study medicine in order to give their patients medicine to recover from things. Here's an example: field of medicine. Field of medicine. Field of medicine. Okay, the next one is economy class. Economy class. Economy class. Economy class usually refers to a specific type of seat or a specific category of seat on an airplane. You may also find economy class on something like a train, perhaps. So, economy class usually refers to the most affordable seats on an airplane or on a train. There are other types of classes that you can buy, but economy is usually the cheapest and tends to be maybe the least comfortable as well. Here's an example expression. Economy class seats. Economy class seats. Economy class seats. Okay, next is flight. 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 All right. Flight refers to a couple different things in English, but in many cases, it refers to traveling through the air. So when you make a reservation for airline travel, we usually say I reserved a flight, which means you reserved a seat on a plane that's going through the air. So, for example, boarding pass for the flight. Boarding pass for the flight. Boarding pass for the flight. Let's review. I'm going to describe a word or phrase in English. See if you can remember it. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say the word for a medical condition when bacteria and other bad things get into an injury or inside your body and cause a reaction? Infection. Infection. And how to say the medical condition that's very common and can affect your stomach, your nose, and your throat sometimes at the same time? Flu. Flu. What about the musical instrument that you play by blowing into a brass instrument with three buttons on the top? Trumpet. Trumpet. Do you remember how to say the location in the airport where you leave from, the place where you get on your airplane and leave the airport? Departure gate. Departure gate. Let's try the word that refers to the study of human society and people and the way we interact. Sociology. Sociology. What about the word for the person on an airplane who helps the customers on the airplane by bringing food, drinks, and giving other services? Flight. 
Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Now, let's see if you remember how to say the noun for a place where you sit. Seat. Seat. Another one. What about the word that you use to talk about something you take, something you drink or eat, in order to fix a medical condition? Medicine. Medicine. Do you remember how to say the type of ticket that you buy on an airplane that is the most basic kind of seat? Economy class. Economy class. And finally, do you remember how to say the word we use to talk about traveling by airplane, the noun that we use to talk about this type of travel? Flight. Flight. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 10 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at EnglishClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! Bye! Now, if you're wondering how to remember these words forever so that you can start speaking more and more, here's how. One, review them with our spaced repetition flashcards. Our flashcards will drill these words into your long-term memory. Two, save the words to our word bank, your personal collection of words, where you can print out physical study sheets. And three, watch our looped vocabulary slideshows on repeat until you understand every word. You'll find these tools inside our learning program. Just click the link in the description to get them. Luggage. 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 Luggage refers to all of the things that you take with you on your trip. When you bring a suitcase, a backpack, a handbag, another type of bag, we call all of that luggage. So some people like to travel with a lot of luggage and some people like to travel very light, which means they don't bring a lot of luggage. Here's an example phrase. Travel with luggage. Travel with luggage. Travel with luggage. Okay, next is bandage. 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 A bandage is a piece of cloth or maybe a piece of glue and some other kind of tape, maybe material, that we put over a wound. We put over an injury to help it heal. So for very, very small injuries, maybe you know things like band-aids, which we have that are like little sticky kinds of pieces of cloth that we can put on our skin to help wounds heal. But if you have a very big injury, you may need a much larger bandage. Like you need to wrap some cloth around a maybe very damaged part of your body, or you might even break a bone and need to wrap a very, very very big bandage called a cast around your arm or your leg. No matter what, these are all referred to as bandages, things that we use to help our body heal. Here's an example. Wrap with bandage. Wrap with bandage. Wrap with bandage. Okay, the next word is patient. 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 So, a patient is a person who receives care from a doctor. So, although we have this word patient, which means someone who is very calm and can wait for things for a long time, the word patient in medical situations refers to the person who goes to the hospital, who goes to the clinic, who meets with the doctor in order to receive care. So, whenever someone in like a doctor or a nurse position talks about a patient or the patient, they are referring to the sick person or the person who needs care. So an example of this is sick patient. Sick patient. Sick patient. Okay, the next word is department. 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 A department means 
part of an organization or part of a company or even part of a store. So when we talk about a department, it's usually because we want to talk about something specific that we can buy in that section or something specific that people in that section do. So in a company or in an organization, different departments have different specialties. For example, accounting or marketing or sales. And in, say, a department store, you might find different departments departments based on the type of item. For example, the shoe department, or the clothing department, or the lifestyle or home care departments, and so on. Here's an example. What department do you belong to? What department do you belong to? What department do you belong to? Okay, next is accountant. 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 An accountant is someone who takes care of money, budgets, taxes, and so on. So we can have an accountant at our company, and we can also have a personal accountant. These are people who help us to keep track of our finances, our money, and to help us to file information with our governments to make sure we pay the correct amount of taxes. So an accountant is a type of job. Here's an example. Licensed accountant. Licensed accountant. Licensed accountant. Okay, next is lawyer. 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 A lawyer is a job. A lawyer is someone who is specialized in the rules and regulations of a country or maybe even the rules of a specific region like a city or a state. So a lawyer is someone who interprets or who understands laws. So in this word lawyer, we see L-A-W, which is law. So law refers to the rules of a specific place. A lawyer is someone who understands and interprets those rules. So here's an example expression. Company lawyer. Company lawyer. Company lawyer. The next word is wage. 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 So a wage is the amount of money that you are paid to do a job. So depending on the job, your wage is different. And depending on your experience, your wage may be different. So a wage is commonly expressed as a certain amount per hour. For example, $5 per hour is a wage. Or maybe $10 an hour is a wage. So there are many different wages according to different jobs, experience levels, and so on. Here's an example. Minimum wage. Minimum wage. Minimum wage. Next is piano. 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 A piano is a musical instrument. This is a noun. A piano is a very large, usually, instrument that has 88 black and white keys, and we play by moving our hands in this motion. So a piano can be very, very big, like the ones you see in concert halls, and we can also have digital or electric pianos, which many people have in their homes. Here's an example expression. Grand piano. Grand piano. Grand piano. Okay, the next word is flight number. Flight number. Flight number. A flight number is the number of a specific plane that someone takes to go to another location. So when you make a reservation for a flight, you will receive the flight number. So you can pass that information to someone who's going to pick you up at the airport or to share that information with someone you're going to meet at the airport, whatever. The flight number has the details like the departure time, the arrival time, the arrival gate, and so on. So a flight number is a very important part of your travel itinerary. Here's an example. Flight number 345. Flight number 345. Flight number 345. Next is agriculture. 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 Agriculture is a type of science. So agriculture refers to 
growing food, growing plants, and even taking care of cattle. So cattle refers to animals that we grow or that we raise for usually uh, meat purposes or for dairy purposes and so on. So agriculture refers to doing things like farming in order to create food products and perhaps other lifestyle products. Here's an example. Agriculture product. Agriculture product. Agriculture product. Accounting. 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 Accounting refers to keeping track of money. So in companies and organizations, there is usually an accounting department. It's a department of the company that is responsible for keeping track of money-related things. So where does the money go? Where are the receipts? What was the money used for? And so on. We also have personal accounting where we track our own money. For example, accounting documents. Accounting documents. A count documents. Next is bonus. 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 A bonus means something extra. It means something that is not part of the original plan, and in many cases it refers to extra money. So if you receive a bonus from your job, for example, it means that you receive extra money at your job. You might also just get something called a bonus at something like an event or at a restaurant or maybe at some kind of concert that you go to where you receive something extra as a kind of gift. But usually this refers to money from work. For example, annual bonus. Annual bonus. Annual bonus. Next is light. 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 So there are a couple of different uses of the word light, but for this video, I want to focus on the one that refers to weight. So this light is the opposite of heavy. So something that is heavy weighs a lot. It's difficult to pick up. Something that is light does not weigh a lot. It's very easy to pick up. For example, light feather, light feather, light feather. Next is trombone. 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 A trombone is a very common musical instrument. This is a brass instrument. It's very unique in that it's played by moving a slide up and down to change the pitch of the instrument. For example, brass trombone. Brass trombone. Brass trombone. Next is departure. 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 So, departure refers to the time, usually, that you leave somewhere. We see this word a lot as part of a schedule. We can use departure with a time or a place to talk about the location or the time at which we leave someplace. So, for example, departure date. Departure date. Departure date. Next is arrival. 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 Arrival refers to the opposite of departure. Departure means to leave someplace. Arrival means to come to someplace as your destination. So arrival can be used to talk about a schedule and it can also be used to talk about a location. For example, arrival gate. Arrival gate. Arrival gate. Next is violin. 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 A violin is a very common and very popular musical instrument. This is a string instrument that is small enough to be held in the hands next to the face. It's played by drawing a bow across the strings of the instrument. For example, play the violin. Play the violin. Play the violin. Earth science. Earth science. Earth science. Earth science is probably easy to guess. It is science that is related to the Earth. So the study of natural parts of our planet. So that can mean rocks and trees and nature and how the Earth moves and so on. All of these things are related to Earth science. Here's an example phrase. Earth science research. Earth science research. Earth 
science research. Next is science. 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 Science is a very, very big category of study. Science is related to the study of many different things in the world that are naturally occurring. So this could be people, it could be animals, it could be the planet and environment, it could be volcanoes, it could be space, it could be chemical reactions. These are all types of science. Here's an example phrase. Study of science. Study of science. Study of science. Next is prescription. 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 A prescription is something a doctor gives to you that you then take to a pharmacy to receive medicine. So in the past, we would receive a written prescription. The doctor would write the name of the medicine on a piece of paper and give it to us. Now some people might have digital prescriptions as well. You can take these to the pharmacy and receive the medication that you need. Here's an example phrase. Fill a prescription. Fill a prescription. Fill a prescription. Allergy. Allergy. This word is a noun, and allergy is a negative reaction that you have to something else. So for example, people might have an allergy to a certain food, to a certain kind of plant, maybe to an animal. So this causes a reaction in the body. For example, maybe your eyes get really, really watery or you start to sneeze a lot. These are examples of allergies. For example, allergy to pollen. Allergy to pollen. Allergy to pollen. Next is boarding pass. Boarding pass. Boarding pass. Okay, a boarding pass is a piece of paper or a digital pass that you can show to airline staff when you need to get on a plane. So a boarding pass includes your flight number, your seat number, probably the gate that your flight will take off from. So a boarding pass is necessary to get on a plane. For example, boarding pass for the flight. Boarding pass for the flight. Boarding pass for the flight. Next is education. 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 Okay, education is a noun. Education refers to the things that we learn, usually in school or as well in our lifetime. So when we talk about going to school, we talk about receiving education. So that's all of the different kinds of knowledge and the different experiences that we have as kids becoming adults. And then after that, we have other forms of education, other forms of knowledge that we get from books, from our jobs, from our hobbies, and so on. So there are many different ways to receive education or to get education. Here's an example phrase. Education and training. Education and training. Education and training. Next is English. 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 Okay, so English is the language that you are learning right now with this video. So English is a very interesting language. It pulls inspiration from many other languages and countries and cultures around the world. With English, we have kind of interesting spellings to think about, interesting ways to pronounce words, and there are many different dialects to consider in English as well. Here's an example sentence. Mr. Suzuki teaches English. Mr. Suzuki teaches English. Mr. Suzuki teaches English. Next is law. 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 So law can refer to two different things. Law can refer to a country or a city or a state's rules. Their formal rules are called laws. And when we go to school to study those things because we want to become lawyers, we also refer to the study of those things as law. For example, law school. Law school. Law school. Next is flute. 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 
So a flute is a musical instrument. A flute is played in this position. So we use our two hands next to our face to play the flute. It's a long kind of tube shaped instrument that makes a high pitched sound. This is very, very common in orchestras and in symphonies and in maybe high school bands as well. For example, silver flute, silver flute, silver flute. Okay, next is IT department. IT department. IT department. Okay, an IT department is a very, very common section in many companies and many organizations. The IT here stands for information technology. So usually the IT department is responsible for helping people with their computer problems, with other technology problems, media problems, and so on. For example, call the IT department. Call the IT department. Call the IT department. Next is business trip. Business trip. Business trip. A business trip is a trip that you take specifically for business. So that means it's different from a vacation. When you take a vacation, it's just for fun. When you have a business trip, you have to go somewhere for work. And maybe you have some fun while you're there also. But the main purpose of your travels is work or business. For example, go on a business trip. Go on a business trip. Go on a business trip. Next is marketing. 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 Marketing is another very common and very important section of many companies and organizations. Marketing refers to the process of creating things that will help sell products or sell goods and services to other people. So that can mean creating advertisements, it can mean writing things on a company website, and so on. For example, Marketing department. Marketing department. Marketing department. Next is popular. 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 So popular means something that many people like. So when something is popular, that means that a lot of people think that it's really, really good. Be careful not to confuse popular and famous. When something is famous, it means many people know about it, or maybe many people know about a person. When something is popular, it means lots of people know about it and lots of people like it. So we can talk about people in this way, we can talk about places like restaurants, and we can also talk about things with the word popular. For example, popular man, popular man, popular man, insignificant, insignificant, insignificant. So the word insignificant means something that is not important. It's not special. If we break this word down, we have the prefix in, which means not or no, and the word significant, which means something that is important or something that we need to care about or pay attention to a lot. So together, this means not significant or not important or not something that we need to care or think about a lot. Insignificant. Insignificant amount. Insignificant amount. Insignificant amount. Famous. 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 So something that is famous is something or someone that is very, very well known. So this is usually someone like a celebrity, like an actor or an actress. Maybe they're a musician, they're part of a band, perhaps they're an artist, they create paintings, or maybe they write something that's very, very well known. So someone who is famous is known by many different people, and something that is famous is also known by many different people. For example, famous actor. Famous actor. Famous actor. Sneeze. 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 So sneeze is a verb and a noun. To sneeze, the verb, means that feeling that you have in your nose when your body needs to move air out of it really quickly. We have that achoo, right? That's called the noun form sneeze. And as a verb, we say to sneeze. So that means to do that action. For example, 
The woman is sneezing. The woman is sneezing. The woman is sneezing. Casual. 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 So casual is the opposite of formal. Casual means something that is kind of relaxed, something that is laid back, something that's not super polite. So when we have everyday conversations with our friends, we usually use casual language or we dress in casual clothes or we have kind of a casual feeling. For example, casual clothing, casual clothing, casual clothing, guitar, guitar. Guitar. This word has kind of an interesting spelling. It starts with G U I, but we pronounce this as git. So, a guitar is a musical instrument. We play it like this usually, and this is something that is played all over the world. There are lots and lots of talented people who play guitar, and they are called guitarists. For example, some of them play a six string guitar. Six string guitar. Six string guitar. Next is breathe. 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 Okay, this word is a verb. It means to take air into your body and to put air out of your body. This process of getting air into your body and moving it out is called breathing. Make sure you're cautious of the spelling of this. To breathe, this word has an E at the end, yeah? We also have a noun that looks very similar and is related to this process. That's called breath, but there's no E at the end. So be careful when you use this as a verb. Make sure you don't forget that E. For example, breathe deeply. Breathe deeply. Breathe deeply. Spit. 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 So this is kind of a gross vocabulary word, but it's important to know. This is a noun and a verb. So as a verb, to spit means to force whatever is in your mouth out of your mouth. So if you're eating something, for example, and you spit it out, that means you force it out of your mouth. If you have nothing in your mouth, just the water, the liquid in your mouth, and you put that out of your mouth, that's called spitting. So to spit means to force something out of your mouth. As a noun, spit means just the liquid inside your mouth. So an example, no spitting, no spitting, no spitting. Dentist, dentist, dentist. So the dentist is the tooth doctor. So when you need to have your teeth cleaned, when you need to talk to a doctor about something happening in your mouth, with your teeth, with your gums, these kinds of things, you visit a dentist. It's important to see a dentist regularly. So for example, see a dentist. See a dentist. See a dentist. Cavity. 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 So a cavity usually refers to a hole in your tooth. So this is a very common type of tooth damage. When you have a cavity, you need to go and see a dentist to get it repaired. For example, deep cavity, deep cavity, deep cavity. Asthma, asthma, asthma. So this word has very interesting spelling. There's a TH in the middle, but we don't say asthma, we say asthma. So kind of ignore that, but try to remember it when you're spelling this word. So asthma is a very, very common type of illness that affects the lungs. So someone who has asthma may have trouble breathing normally, or maybe they are irritated, their lungs get irritated by some kind of allergic reaction, or maybe they have to take some kind of medication to help them to breathe regularly. So different people people have different kinds of asthma, but this is a very common illness that affects the lungs. So here's an example expression. Asthma inhaler. Asthma inhaler. Asthma inhaler. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the Word Bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools.